Okay guys, we are going all in. I just got out of the shower and I thought we would do a get ready with me. Um, okay, so my, I have just cleansed my skin, that is all, and it is feeling tight. So normally I've already added on um, a mist of some sort and then my La Mer Essence, but we're not doing that. So we're gonna add two pumps. Let me just show you two pumps of the rich cream welcome to my bedroom i'm afraid that my bathroom lighting is just not good so okay i have rubbed it between my hands and now i'm just pressing it in and you guys my skin always gets really red when i touch it and stuff so don't be too alarmed by I'm going to bring it up through the neck. So it is very rich um, upon contact. Um, and it feels uh, rich and luxurious. And I think that again, as I said earlier, I am just worried it's not quite enough hydration, but maybe that is just my skin getting used to the potent, um, the potent cell turnover. <laughs> The trigger complex. Um, okay, so as you can see, it gives you a nice little glow, which is nice, and it says to use it as your serum and your moisturizer. So what I'm going to do is let this sink in for a few minutes while I go and dry my hair. But I thought while we were here, I just wanted to give a shout out. I don't know if any of you guys use Olaplex. Um, my, my hairdresser, uses this treatment, but they now sell Olaplex shampoo and the conditioner, and I am loving it. Um, I just wanted to give a shout out because my hair is loving it. Um, okay, I am gonna go dry my hair and then we'll get back, I'll come back and we will um, maybe do a little get ready with me with the new La Mer cushion. Um, okay, but can you guys see? You are getting all, you guys are seeing all my flaws. <laughs> but I thought this was actually the best way to show you, um, you know, we can really kind of determine what we think about this lovely cream. Okay, I'll be back with dry hair and then we'll put on some makeup so it won't be so scary. Okay, bye guys. Okay, you guys, I am back and I have dried my hair. Um, and I've let this sink in for several minutes because I, that's what we're supposed to do. Um, it is feeling a little bit dry. Um, and I'm going to now add my SPF. I'm hoping that is going to add in a little bit of moisture. Now I will say one thing. It is feeling like my front, my face feels firm, <laughs> um, but it does feeling a little bit dry. So I am putting on um, SPF. This is my normal, and yet yeah, you guys are seeing ghosts like now. Um, this is a natural mineral one. So it is going to have that white cast. Um, and I am just tempted to put on a little bit of a, an oil. Um, to make it not quite so dry because we are going to a party this evening and um, I just am feeling dry. Okay, so SPF, you guys, this is my favorite SPF ever. And I'm gonna put on a little bit more, bring it down my neck and decollete. Um, and then we'll put on, okay, so should I put on a little bit like kind of in here, it looks like a little bit dewy, but I can tell my forehead feels kind of dry. Um, so I think I'm just gonna put on, we don't wanna mess it up with that SP. <laughs> I think I'm going to put on just a few drops of marula oil, um, just so I get, um, I don't think that's gonna mess it up. Um, I just is, my skin is feeling dry. Hold on, be right back. Okay, just grab, um, my uh, Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Oil. And I'm just gonna take a couple drops, guys. It is just a few. 
I don't want to be a greasy mess, but I also just know that I don't want to put makeup on dry. Like it's feeling dry through my forehead. I'm just going to press a little bit of this on. Um, this oil is awesome because it just sinks right into the skin. It is not one of those that kind of takes a few minutes. I'm going to depuff my eyeballs. Um, okay feeling a little bit better just by that little bit of oil. And again, I don't think that is wrecking anything because I let that, um, I let the, what's it called? I let the, uh, the bader cream sink in for a bit. Okay, let's come back to the lovely La Mer. You guys, I am absolutely loving this cushion. And I'm gonna try to get ready with, oh, I got one more thing to tell you. I what did I do with it? I got the new, um, here we go. I got the new Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away um, Liquid Concealer. So we're gonna use that. So what I heard about this is that it's Spanx for the under eyeballs. Um, and then you know, of course, I had to run out and get that. So, okay, let me just pull this back and let's do a little bit of cushion. So you guys, I've been using it with a little bit of the actual cushion they sent it with and then buffing it out with my favorite brush or a, or a beauty blender. So I'm gonna, one thing I gotta tell you, you guys do not press very hard. You get a lot of product in here and if you press too hard, you are going to put too much on. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna start by putting this guy on and just with the cushion um just kind of pushing it into the skin and we shall see what i need um so i guess i am kind of using this um but let me grab my brush okay i'm just going to so I'm actually using the monitor as my mirror. So in a minute, I'm going to turn to the mirror. Maybe I'll move you guys with me. Um, okay, so I like to buff this into the skin, but I am just loving the ease of this foundation and the coverage and the way it just feels so light and beautiful. Oh, I really love it. And it just is. Um, that's my favorite part, getting rid of all that redness through the eyeballs. And ooh, it is just a really, really pretty, pretty foundation. Can you see, you guys? It just adds a really nice glow. It makes your skin look healthy. Let me hold on one minute, you guys. I'm going to turn to the mirror. I don't want to put too much on. Let me see. Okay, maybe. Uh... <laughs> Okay, I will just turn for one second and I just want to put on, I'll bring you with me, but I want to be able to look at the mirror just for a second. Oh, there, okay. Um, I don't want to put too much on, but I do also want to put enough on that I am getting the coverage that I need. Um, ooh, I am in love, 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 love with this foundation. Okay, we are back. Okay, so here is the foundation. I just think it's lovely. I really like it. It has a little bit of glow to it. It just makes your skin look healthy. Um, going to bring it down my neck. I just really, really like it. Okay, I think we have enough on. Let's try out Spanx for the eyeballs. Um, okay, so I ended up getting shade five because they were out of four and I think I can get away with four or five. The shade range number five said light to medium skin. It's called sand, which a lot of my foundations are sand. And then with any undertone, not just neutral. So let's try this bed. I've heard tons of good things. So it has a little sponge. It was so funny because the girl wanted me to try it on <laughs> at Nordstrom, but I'm like, oh my God, how many people have tried this sponge? I was like, no, 
oh, it'll cause my skin to break out. So I was like, no, I'm sure this will be fine. Okay, let me show you that color just on my hand. I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, let's get rid of the bags. Now you guys, again, this is one of these concealer tends to make that area on me look terrible. Um, but I heard this was great for older skin. So let's do it. Okay, I kind of like the little, as long as I'm using it, I don't mind the, um, the, okay. I'm gonna tell you right now, it feels super moisturizing, which I'm actually really liking that. Um, and I think the color is fine. I don't like to go too light underneath. I know that's a thing, but um, again, I don't know if that's great for older skin. Um, I mean, you wanna brighten up, but if you go too bright, I think it looks kind of emphasizes more texture. Um, okay, let's see. I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender and put that in. Can you guys see? I'm gonna turn just a minute and see what I think. This is hard to do your makeup in that. <laughs> um, okay, I need to put my eyeballs on, but I have to say so far, this feels so moisturizing, super easy. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit down my nose and a little bit up here. Um, and maybe on my chin, just a little bit. Okay. Um, it has, has a little light floral scent to it. I'm curious, I did not buy the powder because I'm not a big powder girl. Um, but now I'm wondering, um, people say there's like a weird earthy scent to it. And I think it's kind of interesting because she did not put any fragrance in the product in the powder so now of course i want to go and see what it smells like um okay i am just going to really pounce everything over sink this into my skin and then you guys you don't need to see me put my eyeballs on i'll come back in a minute with the finished product but I kind of think it really brightened up under my eyes. Do you guys? It's helping with my bags. We'll see if it cre creases. Actually, I have to say, I am really liking that. Yay! I might have found, um, I might have found a concealer. It's so really moisturizing. It's really comfortable. So we'll see if it creases. Okay, you guys have seen enough of my scary face. Let me go put some eyeballs on and then I'll check back with you in a minute. Okay, bye guys. Okay, you guys, I am back. I have got my eyeballs on. Sorry, I really need my eyes on. <laughs> um, okay, couple things. So here is the finished product and um, I'm actually really glad I put a little bit of this oil on top. My skin's just feeling a little bit more comfortable. So first conclusions just with this guy. Um, I have the rich cream and I'm finding it to be moisturizing, but not as moisturizing as I am used to. So, um, but you know, anyways, I feel like my skin is doing pretty well with this and I do feel like maybe I'm getting a little chin lift. We'll see. <laughs> um, okay, other two things I wanna talk about real quick is I am loving the La Mer cushion. It's just super easy to use, and as you can see, um, I definitely see a little bit of radiance to the skin. I was worried that it was too light. I have number um, shade warm beige, and, I mean, warm beige, warm vanilla. It's a little bit light, but I can definitely warm it up. And then I am loving, oh my gosh, this Magic Away concealer. You guys, I really don't even like to use concealer, but so far this is amazing. Um, I am like digging it today. Other products, I'm sorry, I don't mean to keep coming out of the, um, coming out of the, I just wanted to show you what else I have on my face real quick, um, just so that you can see this guy. Okay, the other things on my face are the Biscuit Contour from Westman Atelier. You guys are gonna get sick of me, but I absolutely love this. I just think it warms up the skin. 
Um, I just put a little bit here. Over here, I tried to make my forehead not so big, tried to tone down my big nose, and then a little bit underneath my chin for a shadow. Um, I used Petal Blush. Again, I am just loving this whole line. Seriously loving it. These things I've been using every single day. And then I used my, the best of the best, which everybody needs this is. <laughs> the Super Loaded Peau de Peche. Um, this is highlighter, but I guess I'm kind of using it like blush highlighter. I don't know. I just think it works. Um, loving this in number five. I think the color is totally great. I think it lightened up plenty. Loving that so much. Um, so that is what I have on my face. I did not powder, so you can definitely see a little glow. Um, maybe I will put, I have the La Mer Loose Powder. Um, I love the Hourglass Powder, the new one, the Mineral Veil one. Um, now I have to be honest, I want the powder that goes with this little um, magic away. I'm not a big powder girl, but now I'm intrigued. Okay, so this is day, let me see, I got it on Thursday, so I used it Thursday night, Friday morning, Friday night, Saturday morning, and so this is the three-day um, check-in, but so far, you guys, I've been happy. I just um, will let you know, two weeks, and guess what? This is a little bit hard for me. <laughs> Um, to not use all my products. Okay, you guys have a great day and I'll keep you informed. Talk to you guys later.